So I've got my example. My example is going to be f of x squared. We're going to estimate the area under this curve between 1 and 10 using three rectangles. And we're going to use that with left side rectangles. So this area is going to be approximated by L sub 3. So L sub 3, I'm going to write this generically first. I is equal to, it's going to range from 1 to 3 for three rectangles. And then I want my height, so H sub I times my width. Um, if I put this into terms of my function, so I equals 1 to 3, that height is going to be my function value, so that's going to be f of my sample point, which we call x sub i star, and I'm going to make that specific to our problem here in just a second. The width is going to be that difference in the x direction, which is going to be delta x. Let's go ahead and start with delta x. Delta x is the width. I'm taking that interval from 1 to 10 and dividing it into 3. So I'm going to do 10 minus 1 divided by 3. That's going to be 9 divided by 3, which is 3. So that interval width is going to be 3, which tells me that I've got endpoints starting at 1. Add 3 and I get 4, 7, and 10. Let's go ahead and put that onto our graph. 1, 4, 7, and 10. So I've got 1 there and 10 there. Next, let's do the height. The height is going to be my function value on the left-hand side. So if I build these onto my graph, my first rectangle is going to go up to the function at 1 and then create a rectangle from there. The next rectangle is going to have a height at 4 and then over to 7. And then that last rectangle is going to have a height at 7 and then over to that last endpoint of 10. So we can see that these areas here is going to give me, for this example anyway, an underestimate. If I do this by hand, I can come up with, let me go back to my blue pen, I can come up with my areas pretty easily. I want the sum of each of those functions times delta x. As I go through and I do rectangle 1 first, the height of rectangle 1 is going to be f of 1, which is 1 squared, times the width, which is 3. Next rectangle, so now I'm at the second rectangle, um, its height is going to be 4 squared, so 4 squared, which is 16 times 3. And then that last height is going to be 7 squared, so plus 7 squared plus 3. I can do this by hand. Um, if I pull that 3 out, I get 1 plus 16 plus 49 times 3. I'm going to let that calculator do the math. And in parentheses, I've got 1 plus 16 plus 49 parenthesis times 3. and we get 198. So I'm approximating that area with an area of 198. I can also put this into the summation using the values that I've got for my sample point. I'm going to build that one and for delta x. So if I continue with my setup, so say that you've been asked to set up that third rectangle or the three rectangles using the summation, I'm going to do it this way. So I still want i equals 1 to 3, f of x sub i. So that's going to be my function squared times delta x. I already have delta x. Delta x is 3. Inside those parentheses, I'm going to put x sub i star, which is my sample point. Let's go ahead and do the sample point computation up here in terms of i. So x sub i star, I need to get to the left-hand endpoints, 1, 4, and 7. Well, to get to 1, I'm going to start at 1, and I'm going to add none of my delta x's. To get to 4, I'm going to start at 1, and I'm going to add a single 3 or a single delta x. I should just call that delta x or 3. And then to get to the 7, I'm going to add 2 of my delta x's, 2 delta x's. So that tells me that I really want to add delta x's, but one less. So I'm going to go 1 plus delta x. 
And if I do I minus one, that's gonna work out perfectly. Uh, delta X is three. So in terms of our problem, delta X is three and then I minus one. If I do the math to simplify this a little bit and distribute that three, I end up with uh, one plus three I minus three, which is going to be three I minus two. Let's go ahead and put that back into the summation. So I went three I minus two here, and I'm ready to type this into the calculator. So this is a really easy way to do it if you need to get to the summation setup for your problem as well. So before I put this into my calculator, I do need an additional set of parentheses so that both the height and the width is contained in the summation. Let's grab the calculator and enter it in. I'm gonna to go to my math menu and then summation. Arrow up, it's just a little bit quicker. And then hit enter. So alpha x squared to get to the i. i equals one arrow over to three. Arrow to the right, another set of parentheses. And now I want three i minus two. So three alpha x squared for three i minus two. Close that parenthesis. I want that squared times three. I hit enter and I get the same 198 that I got before. If this video is helpful for you, please go ahead and click like. I also encourage any comments or questions that you've got, go ahead and put those down below. Thank you so much for watching.